At least 10 cars. That's how many the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says were stolen from car dealerships in a recent spree that lasted weeks. So if it can happen at a car dealership, really it can happen anywhere, including in your driveway. First Coast News is Jeff Valens on your side tonight with just how easy it can be to steal your car, especially if it has keyless capability. Jeff. Yes, Heather, keyless as in using a remote that not only opens or unlocks the door, but also can start the engine. Now, one of those dealerships tells me off camera that the thieves got a hold of the dealership's cars by simply distracting workers and then stealing keys off a board. But in this day and age, it is more modern security systems that sometimes actually make car theft, electronic car theft, easier than ever. Cars evolve, so does theft. Aaron Nelson ought to know he's been working on cars for decades. If they could open the car, well, a lot of these cars, they could start that car. Because increasingly popular smart keys send and receive information that's invisible but also interceptable. You could be at home in bed asleep with your keys on your nightstand. Let's say I want to steal this car. I have a device about this size. I have my accomplice, Jerry. Associate goes with box B around the back of your house. Where your key is likely nearby, like your bedroom window. All I have to do is pull the car handle a couple of times. Your remote thinks that it's next to the car. The car thinks the remote's next to it. The car unlocks, starts, and they drive away. Something that can happen anywhere. They'll walk through the restaurant with a box inside their, their jacket or something while their accomplice is out in the parking lot pulling on the handle. Using devices that are easy and cheap. 22 bucks a pair. <laughs> But there is a defense. It's called a Faraday cage or a Faraday envelope. A barrier that protects your keys when you're not using them, much like some wallets protect chip credit cards with an embedded mesh that blocks signals. Also cheap. For $11. There are other ways thieves operate, preying on those for whom high-tech convenience breeds complacency. But at the end of the day, even an expert reminds that any protection strategy starts low-tech. Vigilance is always the best defense. Now, as mentioned, there are other electronic theft methods that are more or less popular depending on the car and the model year. For more about that, you can check out the link to this story at firstcoastnews.com. Live in Jacksonville, Jeff Ballin, First Coast News on your side.